Hey there, I'm Keith Farron, and I want to personally invite you to join me, uh, along with several hundred other people, for Rapid Bible Read Through 2018. I want to spend the next few minutes answering the most common questions about a Rapid Bible Read Through. A Rapid Bible Read Through, simply put, is any reading of the entire Bible in six months or less. Uh, yep, that's the question that most people ask. How is that even possible? Now, you might be thinking, I've tried to read the one-year Bible, and I quit after a few weeks or a couple months. Well, <laughs> I can tell you it's not only possible, but it is easier to read the entire Bible in six months than it is to read it in a year. Now, if that sounds confusing. It really has to do with how God has wired our brains to work. Studies have shown that it takes about 10 minutes of reading anything before our brains really become fully engaged in what we're reading. What I call click into that storytelling mode where we see the characters, hear their voices, picture the scenes, all that. Well, the average one-year Bible plan, the daily reading, is about 10 to 11, maybe 12 minutes. So, if we're not ever clicking into that or we're quitting within a couple minutes of that, we're kind of training ourselves and our brains to have that be the thing that we do to check off to say we've done the reading. Well, when we read for 25 to 30 minutes a day, we will walk through the entire Bible in six months or less and our brains will be fully engaged. And the beautiful thing of having your brain engaged in 30 minutes of reading one day and engaged in the narrative is it shortens the amount of time the next day for your brain to click into that. Kind of like when you've read a novel and you've read for 30, 45 minutes or something, the next day you pick up and bam, your brain goes right back into that. But if your brain never gets into that mode or you don't stay in that mode, then it just becomes this chore every time. The parameters of a rapid Bible read through are very, very simple. First, commit to read through the entire Bible in six months or less. Now, my goal each year is four months, which is about 40 to 45 minutes or so of reading. If you want to go the six month route, then it's about a 30 minute commitment, 25 to 30 minute commitment per day. So first is that commitment to read. Second is read with a pen in your hand. Now, you might have your note taking be digital or you might uh, have a journal or something like that, but it's not have a note, a, a pen in your hand so you can take a ton of notes. It's have a pen in your hand so you can jot down those things you want to explore later. So remember, the purpose of a rapid Bible read through is to immerse yourself in the narrative of scripture, in God's big story, and what is he doing beginning to end. So that is the second parameter is make sure you're just taking one, two, maybe three notes a day, uh, things you want to explore later, things you want to talk about with your group, that kind of thing. So which leads to parameter number three. The third is get together with people to talk about it. I can tell you most people that just try to do it on their own end up either not completing it or really struggling to stay committed. I have found very few people who have gotten together with even one friend. My recommendation is four to six people. So if somebody gets sick, you don't miss a week. But find three to six people that you can get together with at a coffee shop and just have a conversation about what you've read. Ask simple questions. What did you see? What questions do you have? What conversations did you have with God that week? Not complicate, not everybody in the exact same spot, but just read and discuss what you're reading. It will come alive. We were meant to read the Bible and experience God's word in community, not only alone. There are certainly different ways that you can read the Bible in six months. Some just kind of start at Genesis and run right through. Some will read an Old Testament book, then a New Testament book. You'll have to double up a little bit on some of the Old Testament books because there are a few more of those than there are in the New Testament. My favorite is to read chronologically. That some of the books of the Bible are not necessarily in the exact order that they would that the events happened historically. So it's great to kind of if you're not super familiar with the Bible, it's great to put those in the order. Others carry, cover a big span of time, whereas another book might be a segment of that. Um, so so it's great to put that in order. You can get that chronological reading plan for free. Uh, in a lot of different Bible apps, but also on my website at the link that you see here on this video, keithfarron.com slash 
RBRT 2018. So that, uh, those are the ways that you can read the Bible. And you can also join the Facebook group. Man, if you're, I would imagine you're on Facebook if you're looking at this video online. And we have a private group every year where people that are doing the Rapid Bible Read Through can share their thoughts, their insights. Some people will make images out of some of the pictures they read. Some will ask questions. It's always been fantastic dialogue. And I record videos every now and again and write some other things and recommendations and all that kind of stuff. If you want more information than you'll find at the link uh, on this video, or if you're going to be hosting it as a church community or for a whole youth group, or you have a larger small group of several couples and you just kind of want to lay it out for them, then last year I released Rapid Bible Read Through, simple short book that really lays out the the why would you do a rapid Bible read through and the benefits of it, the what of what it is and the structure and all that, and the how of not only how to do it, but how to host a group. So if, if that would be helpful to you, then pick that up. It's certainly free to join the rapid Bible read through. This is just an additional resource that people were asking me all these questions. I put all the questions that I've gotten over the last eight years into, um, into answering those in one place. So you can find that at Amazon or you can get them. If you're going to buy multiple copies, you can get them in discount uh, for multiple copies at keithferrin.store. So I hope that you'll join me. I'm really looking forward to this. I've already had a lot of you send me Facebook messages and emails. I've said, wait, we're ready to start. Even got one from a group of eight people in Kenya that are looking forward to doing it. They said, we're already ready. So I am excited and I really, really hope that you'll join me. Check out keithfarron.com slash RBRT 2018. I'll see you there.